I'm thrilled to be interviewing Betsy Frank, who's Chief Research and Insights Officer for Time, Inc. Betsy, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you for inviting me. So let's start with your background. How did you get to where you are today? It was an interesting trip. Um, when, I, when I think back, uh, when I was in college and when I was uh, taking courses for my master's, I was focused on art, and in particular art history. And um, in those days, being a liberal arts major, or being even worse, uh, an art history major, didn't really prepare you for a whole lot in, in the real world. So I had interviewed for some jobs in, um, at museums and places where I thought I would have at least some opportunity to use what I loved in school. And unfortunately, they were looking for people who could type, or uh, in those days, you didn't have to type. And um, I finally got a job at a company that quite coincidentally distributed television commercials. And from there, and I, the job was basically answering their phone, and um, I just got some uh, background, some understanding of how advertising worked, especially around television. From there, I uh, moved to take a job with one of our clients, the Bristol Myers Company, in their new media agency. And um, from there, I took a job at Bates, which was one of Bristol Myers advertising agencies, and from there to Dancer Fitzgerald Sample, and that to me is like if you thought of the the ancient history and modern history. My modern history began with Dancer Fitzgerald Sample, where I was part of the media research department, and stayed at Dancer as it evolved during probably the most interesting and exciting part of the ad agency evolution from um, an independent, full-service agency to a, um, a large company, um, Saatchi and Saatchi, to a media specialist company in, in Zenith uh, Media. So that was the first half, the first part. I left, um, I left Zenith in 1997 and took a job at MTV Networks where I was uh, overseeing all the research. It was a new role, had never been done before, overseeing all the, the research and insights for all the networks, which at the time was probably three, and by the time I left, almost ten years later, was several dozen. and. From there, I came to Time, Inc. in somewhat of a similar role, also a new role, bringing together all the research and insights supporting both content and business into um, one position. So that's how I got here. Betsy, you and I spoke both being art majors and sort of discovering research later. Um, what would your advice be to a student studying today? Um, I, I experience this a lot, either when I'm interviewing uh, new people or when I'm meeting with our interns, and we have 12 fantastic interns again um, this summer. What I look for is someone who is not quite sure what they want to do. It's hard to find these days, but there still are people who aren't quite sure what they want to do. But more critically, I would say um, get out of thinking in a narrow, take your blinders off. Think about the bigger picture of whatever it is that you're doing. I used to, I remember probably decades ago, I used to talk to young people and I would say, but I guess I was a young person too, but I would say, if I've asked you to make a sleeve of that jacket, 
don't just think about making the sleeve. Think about how that sleeve is going to be part of a coat or part of um, a, a garment that somebody is going to wear and how they're going to be wearing it. And think about what you'd like to know, what you don't know, what you'd like to know. But the, the best advice I can give anyone is, is don't be so sure. Don't be so sure that you know everything. Don't be so sure that all you need to know is the task you're working on at this particular point in time. And think about the bigger picture. It's not always easy because it's a tough world and you need to, you know, get from point A to point B. But uh, in the long run, I think it'll make you happier and that's important too, and it'll make you uh, better at whatever it is you wind up doing. That's great advice. Thank you.